Can you believe we swept the board on Friday 3-0? Yes. That made it a winning week on the morning wager. Mark Zinno said it's very important that we get more right than we got wrong, and we got them all yeah. right on Friday. There he is, my good friend, Mark Zinno. Uh, yes, bouncing up and down joyously I here agree. on a Monday. Uh, I and, I think he, and, and I think he's bouncing up and down because he gets to talk about one of his favorite starting pitchers today, Nasty Nestor. Nestor Cortez, has, who you've ripped on. You've said some terrible things about him and his family on this program, Mark. Yes. I, and but, you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I think today is a great time to fade Nasty Nestor after he has not given up a run in back-to-back -back outings. They're in the nation's capital, are your Yankees. Tell us how you're playing this series opener between the Yanks and the Nets. Well, Yankees are coming off uh, a series against Colorado Rockies here where they kind of hit the snot out of the baseball for the most part. Aaron Judge hits two home runs yesterday. By the way, we're seeing the most amazing thing in the world with Aaron Judge. Uh, also, again, uh, getting more right than wrong in our line of work is important. So we'll remember that and we'll take that to the bank with us. And of course, you agree. That said, um, <laughs> they go into Washington right now. And there's two reasons why I want to play the Nationals plus one and a half here. One, the obvious, because Nesta Cortez is on the mound. The only thing larger than his ERA is his belt size. So with that said, uh, he is a much worse pitcher on the road than he has been at home this year. If you look at his splits, uh, his ERA is nearly two and a half runs higher on the road than it is at home. Opposing hitters are batting 287 against him away from Yankee Stadium. And apparently... There are more donuts in the clubhouse on the road, and teams are smart for doing that. Oh, come that on! Said, <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, if a guy's got a weakness, you may as well give it to him. So the other part of speaking of weaknesses, the other part of why I want to play the Nationals is because the Yankees can't hit left-handed pitching, and Mitchell Parker, who is a lefty, is starting for the Washington Nationals. But somebody like Brian Power would say, but but Zeno, Mitchell Parker's terrible. He's got a 4-2-6 ERA and a 1-2-5 whip. And I would say, yes, that is true. Those numbers are bad. However, comma, he does have a 2.82 ERA at home, and opposing hitters are batting just 228 against him. And this just in, Brian Power, in case you haven't been paying attention to me tell you all season long, the Yankees can't freaking hit left-handed pitching. Kyler I Montero brought that up the other day. <laughs> not, it doesn't matter how bad the lefty is. They cannot hit left-handed pitching. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Washington Nationals plus the one and a half, and we're going to fade the Yankees coming off an easy series win over Colorado. Going up against a left-handed pitcher with a really bad fat lefty on the mound in Nestor Cortez. And uh, we're going to watch the Nationals probably, maybe possibly win this game outright. So there you go. And to all the people in my Twitter comment sections, fight me. Oh, here okay? we go. <laughs> here we go. I love, by the way, how you projected me onto this hypothetical person that's arguing with you about Mitchell Parker. I never said anything well, bad about Mitchell no. Parker. I do kind of like the over in that game, but I, I like the over in that game, but it's correlated. Cortez, you're, you, it was very eloquent how you put it. He's not as good on the road as he is at home. Okay, there. I hey, agree with you. Are we? By the yes. way, extra, extra cap tip, okay, to my old man who just snuck in the studio and handed me a coffee mid-show. I mean, that's that's wow. love right there. That is tremendous. That. That's, that's yeah. nice. That's I'm nice to hear. To, nice to hey, see. You want to start? Hey, you want to start a thing, BP? We could do coffee bets. <laughs> well, well, there we go. <laughs> Coffee bets. I don't even know what to say. This trades off the tracks. How did that show on Friday go three and zero? Oh? It was a twenty minute comedy routine with three baseball picks that won. Anyway, yeah, okay, and the people I, loved it, I, and they loved it. They love us, Mark. So, oh, by the way, if you like the morning wager. How about smashing that thumbs up, that like button? We always appreciate your support. It's Customer Appreciation Day at, at wagertalk.com, by the way. I'll have more on that in just a minute. But uh, Mark Zeno, for my half of the double play, to go along with you and Nats plus one and a half, I'm going to take a look at the over in Braves Twins. I don't know if they're talking about this in your neck of the woods. They should be, though, in Atlanta. Max Freed has a walk problem. Now, he only had one, just one, his last time out. However comma, there have been 11 different times this season where Freed has walked at least three batters. Why is that so significant, you may ask? Well, coming into this season, he only had 10 outings in his career with three or more walks. Something's up there. Minnesota, uh, what do they do against lefties? Well, they, they do very well. Third in batting average in all of baseball. Number one at home in WRC Plus against Southpaws. So I like the Twins to put up a big number tonight. As for the Braves, going against Bailey Ober seems a little scary, but 
The yeah. weather conditions tonight at Target Field. I know you're going to – and see, now see, you projected me arguing with you. Now you're going to argue with me. Let me get through this. Bailey Ober has been very good, but he's been a fly ball pitcher throughout his career. Atlanta, as disappointing as that lineup, has been their fourth in home runs this season. I like the over in this game. I think Minnesota will do most of the heavy lifting, but I like the over eight Braves I, I twins in a battle like, of playoff hopefuls. Like you're going. I, I just generally don't like where you're going. And I'll tell the people this because you and I have a pre-show call. I, I really play the twins, and I don't like you taking the over because it goes kind of against what I think. I, don't, I, I really th- I tried to talk you out of this. I wanted you. I thought you should have taken the twins team total over. That would have made me why feel a lot better. But you refer- why don't you just tell me what it would take? Yeah, well, that's kind of what it is. I, I, again, I may want to hand out as a five dollar play the twins, but now I can't do it because I can't go against you. Because why can't you go against me? Because I don't. I, because How you, could we look you stupid. Scared. Look at this. The, 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 this the, 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 I'll tell you what. Right now, somebody put the, 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 I, I, Jesus. What is Joe Rodriguez? Oh, there we go. Hi, Tokyo Brandon. How are you? <laughs> stupid. Okay, come on. You're just you're just insulting people. All right. No, you know I didn't, that, not, that was not at him. That was not directed at him. Oh, you oh you said it to me. Well, now I'm offended. Anyway, can, let's get fashion. to customer appreciation. Let's get to customer appreciation day, which it is. So by the way, you want to know what else, oh, what else was stupid? Okay, what? What you say, Kikuchi last night? And you and, okay, and the don't Astros. start with that. I, I just got Astros. over that five minutes ago. Astros. Yeah, I, I, a little bit of a tirade. BP and I both uh, collabed on a, on a uh, Astros first five money line last night. The Orioles got two freaking hits. Both of them in the bottom of the fifth. One of them happened to be a three-run bomb. How annoying. I mean, honestly. And I tweeted this out last night. I, at this point, we are at the point of the baseball season where I would rather be awake for a colonoscopy and a catheter insertion simultaneously than bet on baseball. You talk a lot about colonoscopies, by the way. Listen, as a guy who's had dysentery, you know, they're they're part of an everyday routine. Were you on the Oregon Trail? (laughs) No, I was in in Baghdad. Oh, worse. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I was marching okay. through Mesopotamia. <laughs> okay. But do they still call it there? All right. Well, you know what? You talk about that Astros play. It was a push last night. I was 2-0-1 over the weekend, and it is Customer Appreciation Day at yes. Wager Talk, which means you can get $5 best bets from all of your favorite handicappers, including both Mark and I. I already have my $5 play out. It is a 4% best bet. It is a total not the Braves twins over. It is a different total. Just head on over to wagertalk.com right now. You can find $5 plays from all your favorite handicappers. I've also got my 5% college football win total still available. Many of you already joined on that. And I thank you for that. You're joining for a good reason. 70% with all plays rated 5% in college football since December of 2022. Before we get to our best bets, and folks, don't forget to drop in the comment section below your favorite bets for Monday. Mark, would you like to... Uh, Tell the people what you've got going on at your page here on Monday. By the way, do you want to know how much more frustrating last night was? You know what? You know what oh. last night did of the Astros not cashing that bet? I fell to number two. I have now number two this month in August. That bet cost me my top ranking this month. So now I'm really pissed off, as you can tell. Well, are, you, are, you, <laughs> are you planning on being number one again after tonight? Is there why don't you sell something to the people? Yes, I will. I will tell you that I will be number one after tonight. Okay. Can I, is it bad to make a Mark Messier type guarantee right here? I will be number one once again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, I can, I can see a famous last words graphic going up, to, up this on uh, post production yeah, or something this, like that. Anyway, this, this could go like 1986 Space, space Shuttle Challenger wrong. Jesus! Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, this is set up a failure from the start. Um, All right. We're going to, we're going to, well, we will have the five, we'll have a $5 play up. I, I don't like mm. to try to, you know, throw too many things at the folks out there. So we'll have one play up for our $5 play of the day today at WT.buzz slash MZ. Okay. It is show best bet time. Uh, two double headers today, just to clarify. Um, it is not a traditional double header at Fenway. Boston and Toronto are actually finishing up a game that was suspended back in May, and then they're playing a regular scheduled game tonight. But there is a uh, double header also here in Cleveland between the Guardians and Royals. Very important in the AL Central. I'll be at the game on Wednesday, but first, the, you know, maybe we can talk about that at a later date. But we want to talk about the second game today, Mark, of this yeah. doubleheader. Yeah. Uh, and we like the over in this game. Who know? You know, obviously, there's always some danger about betting before the first game goes off, but the bullpens could be fatigued. The Royals' bullpen's not good anyway, and we don't like either starter for this second game today at Progressive Field. 
Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's rare that we would ever kind of endorse the second game of a doubleheader, especially without seeing how the first one turns out. But knowing the starters in this game, as BP said, um, you kind of start to feel like this may be a spot here where we could take advantage of two things. One, the starters being bad. Alec Marshall's a 471 ERA and a 125 whip. Logan Allen has a 556 ERA and a 154 whip. Um, and oh, by the way, these are starters here um, who has who have gotten a decent amount of of run support um, throughout the year, and, and that is something that's just worth noting when we look at this thing. Alec Marsh here gets five and a half runs of support per start, uh, and Logan Allen is also above five runs per start. So you know the teams are hitting for them on top of it. But let's take it to the fact that we're hopeful, and this is kind of where some of this handicap lies, is that we're hopeful that the bullpens get expended in game one. It's a lower scoring tight game in game one. That means there won't be as many arms as fresh for game two. Managers would be very hesitant to use the same guy twice uh, in a day. There's so much here that I really like about this second game uh, to go over this total. So uh, it's unorthodox, but then again, so is this show from top to bottom. So let's go over in the second game between the Royals and Guardians. That is over eight and a half. Your show best bet for Monday is going to be week one of college football this week. We'll have, so we'll have some college football talk later in the week. Mark and I, again, if you have not already subscribed to the Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click that bell for instant alerts on your favorite shows. This one, every Monday through Friday, Mark and I give out three free picks. Speaking of free picks, I give out five plays on the Power Five. Imagine that every day. 70% I went last week on that show, Mark. What do you think? 21, nine, and three on that show. You said to get I more right than you get wrong, and I did it. You know, I just think you got lucky. Nice I, don't think you're that, I don't think you're that good at this. <laughs> you know, I, you know, it's unbelievable. You know, it's unbelievable. I promote myself. I, I, I would like, you know, and does anyone else get that kind of reaction when they promote themselves on this channel? I don't think they do. We're Patty being quite knows. off stage. Yes, I know. I not already like the show. Do that now. I agree. <laughs> Marks, you know, cash is tickets. Damn right he does. Always got my back.